which tells us there's definitely something going on with our genes. The call is coming from inside the house. Exactly. So as genome sequencing has gotten cheaper and more advanced, scientists have so far been able to identify over a hundred genes where when a mutation occurs in that gene, that person is more likely to have autism. You can study those variants in a population of kids and you can see that all of the kids who have that variant or that gene have a set of common clinical uh, features. Um, you can put that variant into an animal and you can see that it has neurological and neurodevelopmental effects on brain function and behavior in animals. You can clearly see the genetic factors are causal and you can understand their role in brain development. And scientists think they've only discovered about a quarter of the genes that cause autism. So they think there's probably around 400 genes or so that are linked to autism in some real, like, causal way. We still have to find the rest of the genes. And then our ability to explain the heritability will increase as we find more of the genes. So what kinds of genes are these mutations happening in? Well, there's obviously like a whole big long list here, right? But some of these mutations don't even happen inside genes. 